This chat grappling cheat pops clip was brought to you by zenpop.jp. Remember to use the code GRAPPLE for $5 off your next order. I don't know if anybody ever told you what happened to that cat versus Buck Bagwell deal. And did anybody ever tell, tell you what happened? No. So, so you talk about politically not being correct, is that they actually, when the, when the way it was set up was Buff was healed. And, and we were healed, but Buff was, you know. Yeah. A more of a heel than we were. And so Buff was making fun of us all the way through almost two months of uh, six weeks of promotion going to roll wild. Matter of fact, they even did the, you know, they even, if you, you can find this, I want to nitro buff painted his face black and did the. I, I, did I the, think, yeah, I think I basically remember that because there was a time when I was yeah. watching the nitro stream. Yeah. Right. He did the black face and they had one of the referee wear a mask of myself, you know, so, you know, I mean, politically totally incorrect. I mean, you, you get in trouble big time now. Yeah. But anyway, so so we were supposed to go over at the pay-per-view. Mm. Well, Buff didn't quite see it that way. So as they're going over, true story, uh, a picnic table, we're in a tent and catering. Um, and, and I'm sitting, my wife is sitting with my little few months old baby. And uh, they're going... They start to talk about the match. They want to go over the match. So, you know, so I'm listening in. And Buff said something. And Ernest didn't say a word, just kind of smirked. And, you know, got the Buff attention, a wrong attention. And he said, there you go. You know, you know, you know, what's, what's that smirk on your face? But as that's going on, Buff tried to smack him across the picnic table. He gets about this far, and Ernest just goes, whoop, that the hand goes by. And next thing I know, Ernest is diving over the table. They're on the ground. They're literally fighting. Wow. And there was a pull apart. We got called in the uh, office, which was a bus. Yeah. And I, I just remember, we all sat down, Eric, the booker, Ernest, myself, and 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 uh, Buff, and and Eric calls me and says, "What the hell's going on? You know, there's a there's a turn executive there while you guys are fighting," and 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 Buff says, "Buff says, hey, before we start, I just want you to know, Eric, it's Sonny's fault, and I didn't say a word or anything. <laughs> he puts it on me. I go, we all looked at each other, and of course, Eric knew, yeah." Eric's, no, Buff, Sonny didn't say a word. What are you talking about? I heard this whole thing already. So anyway, uh, but what's the amazing thing about those guys? And the amazing thing about, but Ernest Miller, Ernest says, hey, if you want to go over so bad, you can go over. It's just yeah. not going to make really a lot of sense in wrestling, you know, the storyline. But, you know, so... Ernest jobbed. And but they went out there and had a match. That's the yeah. thing. You know, a few hours ago they were literally fighting on the ground. Of course Ernest would have killed him, but hey guys, thank you so much for checking out that clip. You can catch the whole interview here. And don't forget to like and subscribe.